ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Buildmonger, and welcome back to Minecraft Undiscovered. In today's episode, I've got a few plans. I want to start by making a carpenter, which is the next step in tech. There are light engineering blocks I need to work on getting, but right now the main thing are or is this carpenter, which will allow us to make a sturdy casing. Everything here is fairly simple. I mean, it's possible. A metal press will definitely help, so we will get to that. You can still actually make, though, a gold gear in a regular way. The thing that I need the carpenter for is, on the sides of this, you do need golden clay, which is just honey and clay. So we will also have to focus just a little bit in on the ability like that we have to get honey so we we need to definitely get into some beekeeping but not forestry we're gonna get into rustic beekeeping because forestry beekeeping is super annoying uh in between episodes i made this really lovely general store i've also extended the path from the inn to the saloon but the main thing is this general store that i made i think it looks really nice uh Got a little bit of a gabled type thing right here. Uh, just like a little bit of a false front. And then we have gray painted wood as the main wood block. I think that looks really nice. By far though, by far the best part is uh, probably actually the Japanese glass I use here. For some reason it just seems to add so much to this. If you come in here I did end up actually getting myself organized. How lucky of me I actually managed to do it guys. I actually managed to do it, but as you can see, we have everything in a rightful place. So yeah, the next, the first thing to do is to, of course, make the carpenter, which just requires some copper, a reinforced casing, which is tin and a wood casing, treated planks, copper tanks, some light copper plates, and of course, a framing saw, which is also really simple you can use any wood plank and some iron so let's get that situated And what am I supposed to do with this framing saw now exactly? Uh, whatever. So guys, we have our carpenter now. So that is actually really useful. And I'm just swinging around the savannah looking for this. You know what this is? This is a rustic beehive. And I can't break it when my grappling hook's in my hand. Because I can't break anything like that. Alright, and there's a bee right there. Okay. Now, uh, I'm using Rustic because Forestry Bees, as pretty much anyone who plays Modded knows, they are one of the most daunting things to get into in Modded. So, yeah, I think I need at least two bees, but the more of this I have, the better. So, yeah, I'm just going to, like, survey this. You know what? Just to keep things interesting, I'm not going to go for an hour hunting beehives probably not probably a wiser decision just to do that off camera the next thing we of course need is an apiary and I don't think the recipe has been changed just need six logs and some planks well I had to chop down a few acacia trees to get logs for the wood casing so it is something to be wary of that I don't have very many logs on me I kind of turned them all into charcoal and my axe broke, so that is lovely. But I can at least create one of these, and one of these is pretty much all I have capacity for right now, so I am probably going to want to upgrade. But I guess we're figuring out these bees together. Alright, so here we are. I can just take this, 
And take this. Take this, take this. And I, I, I can actually make another one. So that is really good. Even though this might not see any use. It is definitely a useful thing to have. And I, don't, I have no idea where I'm going to put it. Probably somewhere just in the middle of the town. Because I don't have any better ideas. I'm, I might make a building for it. But uh, I don't think so right now. So let me place these down. Uh, Rustic says you can just put bees in here. And it'll do things. Uh, and it looks like it. I, I actually have no idea if this, if this works. I guess we'll, uh, I'll read up on the almanac. See what it says about the bees. Not there. Here. And it just says, yep, I've already got that. So it will reproduce, create honeycomb, fertilize nearby crops when they're in the apiary. So it's literally just, uh, it's a waiting game. What I can do, though, is I can swing over here, and I can start crushing up the stuff I have, the honeycombs I got from breaking the beehive. If I just plop them in here and jump, it should make me some honey. I think that's, yep, that looks about right. And I can, uh, I think, is this enough for a bucket? It's exactly enough for a bucket. That is perfect, so, yeah. Now we need to set up the actual carpenter. And to do that, I am kind of on a gold shortage, and I'm going to need gold for the gold gear anyway. So, I'm not even going to touch my gold and make a clockwork engine. Instead, I, uh, I'm i going to be making myself uh, essentially a hand crank generator. So for that, I need a power cube. I'll show you the recipe real quick. Right here. It's just some sticks, some planks. And this, which is a furnace and uh, some cobblestone. And a furnace in this mod pack requires iron and stone. That should all be really easy. It's more of like a power move on the mod pack creator's part to get you to do iron berries before touching the other stuff. Which I find fine, but you know, it is a thing. So let me see what I can get set up for the carpenter itself. We can also check on my B situation while we were at it. So, we got our carpenter. We can put our bucket of honey in there. And I think if we turn this, it'll just uh, create power for us. Let me see if that actually transferred. Uh, Alright, so I have it. It's just some of the Binny's machines had to use actual forestry engines. So I sort of just wanted to make sure. It's not nearly as powerful as the clockwork engine, I'll say that. But gold is gold, and I need a lot of it. So that is sort of a thing. We can just grab a little bit of clay right here. Put it in, like so. And, uh, wait, no power? Is there, is there not enough? Okay. I'll just, I'll just turn this. And, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll keep turning, turning until we come around right. Alright, guys. So, I guess I am transplanting a clockwork engine onto this thing. The machine I took it from the distillery in the uh, auto vodka thing, it's already full of power. It won't miss this engine, but it, it is something to be worried about or whatever. Alright, so this is actually going, but uh, yeah, so I'll just let this work, I guess, because I have no idea. I think the progress is going, yeah, it's going up. It's just very, very slow. So that is a thing. While we were umming and awing about that, I think maybe the apiary produced a crap ton of more honey. Not just two honeycombs, but you know, I'll take it. I will definitely take it. Any amount of honey is good. Because uh, this is just bypassing forestry bees, which is so much f better. So that is really, really useful. Alright. And, uh... Yeah, I just, I need one more, so I'm getting a little 
uh, anxious about that. How's our carpenter doing? Ah, uh, it's, uh, did it make one? Yeah, it made one, but, uh, we need a lot more energy for this if we're going to make any more. And it looks like it didn't use all the honey either. That is so good. That is so nice. So, I have AFK'd and gotten a bit of golden clay here, which I need for the sturdy casing. Oh, it's only copper. I thought it needed bronze. So, in that case, we basically have everything except for the gear. I was going to throw a little bit of copper in the alloy casing, or the alloy kiln, rather. But uh, we basically have what we need. So, if you come over here, uh, we can essentially make a little bit of a gold block, just like so. Toss that like so, put it on here, and uh, iron hammer it. And I think from there, I'm not sure, I think you just like crush it yeah you crush it again and turn it into a gold gear that way so we now have everything we do we can use to make the first sturdy casing so we take the gold here the copper here not like that like this the nickel here and then we take four golden clay and we have ourselves the first sturdy casing but guys i think that's about as much time as we have for today's episode so if you enjoyed the video Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I shall see you later. Peace.